Today we're going to listen to The Four Seasons Spring Movement One by Antonio Vivaldi. About the Composer Antonio Vivaldi was a Baroque composer who was born on March 4, 1678 in Venice, Italy. Vivaldi was called the Red Priest because he had fiery red hair and was a priest as well as a composer. His portrait shows him in a white powdered wig. <clears throat> he worked as a priest and violin teacher at a girls' orphanage in Venice. Vivaldi was well known was a well known solo violinist and wrote pieces that showcased his dazzling skills. He traveled throughout Europe writing for various groups and nobility. In this way, Vivaldi helped the musical community share new ideas from country to country. About the music. The Four Seasons was written around 1725. It is a set of four concertos for solo violin and string orchestra. It is an early example of program music. Each concerto portrays a season of the year. Spring is lively, depicting the first signs of spring, birds chirping, rushing streams, and thunderstorms. Is it, it is written in concerto grosso form. So now I know I talked about a lot of things here. We're going to come over to the vocabulary to see what we're talking about. Di vocabulary. Dynamics. The changing volume of music. We know the louds and softs. Tutti. Literally means all. Everyone performing together. And concerto grosso is a piece for solo instrument accompanied by or alternating with an orchestra. So if you hear someone say, this is a piano concerto, then you're going to know that the piano is the main instrument backed by an orchestra. But in this case, this is a violin concerto, so you're going to hear the violin backed by the orchestra. The Four Seasons, Spring, Movement One, by Vivaldi.
Okay, let's review this listening map. We have we have different sections going on. We have the S, the P, the R, the I, the N, and the G, all spelling spring. In the S, we have the sounds of the birds and nature. And the P and the R are kind of the sounds of the river. The I and the N have that thunderstorm kind of sound. And then we're going to return to that nature feeling in G. Uh, find the words tutti on, and solo on the map. Remember, tutti means when everybody plays, and then solo is when that one violin, one instrument's going to play. Can you also locate some different dynamic symbols on this map? We have the F, which means forte, loud, and the P, which means piano or soft. Can you find those for me? Excellent. Let's take another listen to this. The Four Seasons, Spring, Movement One, by Vivaldi.
Going over that vocabulary one more time, we have that concerto grosso, piece for solo instrument accompanied by and alternating with an orchestra. We've got those dynamics, the volumes of the music. Programmatic music depicts a specific mood, picture, or story, in this case the seasons, and specifically spring. We have the string instrument family. Um, strings are bowed, plucked, or strummed. Um, to change the pitch, mostly with the fingers changing the length of that vibrating string. And tutti means all, so meaning a section where everybody plays together. 